Hello and welcome to another update video about Bonk. So on the Bonk chart, we've seen obviously this um, rally in potentially five waves. Talked about that already yesterday, but we didn't have a top in place and I highlighted it was not the cleanest five wave move up. Well, it still isn't the most beautiful one, but I can identify a five wave pattern here and we're now likely moving down in this wave too. So that's at least the assumption. Remember, where do we come from? We are coming from a descending price channel in which a wave two possibly bottomed on the 24th of June. Um, that was the idea because the wave count to the downside was full. We had a reversal signal and we also broke out of the price channel to the upside. Um, this was the first indication that we had really bottomed in wave two. Um, we have observed throughout the last few weeks here this rally into the May highs in an impulsive structure, wave one. And then this obviously was the wave two correction. And the idea was that from this region, we could get a substantial bounce to start the third wave. The price has reacted and it might be starting with that third wave here. Now the third wave itself is a five wave pattern. And we might only currently be working on the one, two setup in the larger wave one within that third wave. So this would be the setup that we are looking for. Of course, there's no guarantee it will hold, but this is the idea. We had a rally in again, five waves, break out of the structure, and now we see the pullback needed to look for positions. Is it guaranteed that we're holding? No, I mean, there's never a guarantee in financial markets, but this is pretty much for an altcoin as good as it gets. Obviously, it would be easier if Bitcoin was in a <laughs> uptrend. Um, but we also know that on the Bitcoin chart, we're just now entering a micro support area. If you watched the previous Bitcoin video, then you will know that. So I think there is a decent chance for a reaction to this support region, which is defined between 192.813 and 215.356. This support region was added to the chart today. It's the general wave two support region. And it's, as I said, defined between the 78.6 retracement and the 38.2 retracement. Normally, I want to see a wave two at least get to the 50% retracement. That would be 208.512. I have to say though, that we're dealing here with an altcoin. This degree of micro counting is not very reliable, but at least we have some parameters to watch. So it might be it only reaches the 38.2 FIB level at 215.356 or the 61.8 FIB level at 201.886. So, there is obviously a degree of uncertainty there, but it's looking promising. Um, okay, any sustained break below 192.813 will mean that the larger wave two is likely still unfolding. It would then have one last chance left to find support in the larger wave two then, yeah, that would be reset um, before breaking below 161.484. But ideally the low is in now. It would look good. Um, in an ideal world, the low is in. So what would be a target? for, um, let's say a target for this circle wave one, let's take it level by level. Well, we know that oftentimes circle or this smaller degree one reaches the area around the 61.8 extension of the initial larger wave one. So again, the 38.2 extension is also a relevant level, but it's probably not long enough. The 61.8 seems reasonable target. And that's here at 403.736. Um, so that's circle wave one projection. So this would be a possible, let's say, Fibonacci projection. Of course, it will depend on the subwave. So once the initial one, two setup is completed, I can calculate targets for the third wave the fourth and the fifth. So that's my update about Bonk. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.